Celebrating the first day of spring today with a very visual type of garden to help raise awareness about a virus that's more common than people may even realize. Our Bab Santos has that story today from Minneapolis. It's hard to miss this shining field of decorations at the University of Minnesota. This is just actually humbling. This is, um, I'm overwhelmed. It's named Vivian's Garden in honor of Leah Henriksen's seven year old. It says it's really cool and stuff. These families planted the garden to bring attention to a life changing condition that can cause hearing loss in infants. Many people have never heard of CMV until it's too late. Our life has changed completely since diagnosis. Vivian was diagnosed at two days old. You know, it was a really surprising diagnosis for us, and we asked what many families ask what is CMV? CMV is the most common viral infection you've never heard of. So one in 150 babies born nationally with this virus and one in 200 Minnesota babies are born with this virus. Dr. Mark Schleiss has investigated the virus for more than 30 years. If it's acquired before you're born from the mother, uh, it can cause hearing loss, cerebral palsy, epilepsy. On Saturday, families who have children with CMV showed up in support of legislation they say is the solution. It's truly down the road giving our kids a, a better potential so that they can live <laughs> up to their full potential. It's called Vivian's Act. Vivian has inspired me and inspired these families here and she's frankly even at seven years old inspiring change in her state. The proposed legislation requires CMV education for health care providers and women of childbearing Age. It is preventable. It can be prevented, but you can't prevent something that you don't know about. It also adds the infection to a list of conditions babies are tested for at birth in Minnesota, allowing for early intervention. So other families don't have to experience what we have. Bab Santos, Fox 9.